Okay, everybody, welcome to another episode of On the Wrist from Off the Cuff. Today, I have a really special watch to share with you guys, famously worn by the man, the myth, the mustache, Mr. Tom Selleck himself, during the first three seasons of his signature show, Magnum P.I. Now, this watch, the C Quartz 30, might actually have shown up on your Instagram feed as of late because this first initial reissue batch sold out pretty immediately. But I still did want to make sure to share this with you guys because there will be future runs and I do want to let you guys know why in fact this watch is so special. So with that said, let's go ahead, flip the camera around, take a closer look and actually get into some of the details of what make this little diver so collectible. Okay guys, so a little bit about the brand. Momentum was actually founded back in 1980 out of Canada, uh, and it's actually part of the St. Moritz Watch Corporation, which has been in business for over 40 years, starting out distributing and servicing for other well-known brands like Breitling uh, well into the late 90s, then transitioning into being an OEM supplier, uh, designing, building, and servicing watches for numerous non-watch brands like Land Rover, Eddie Bauer, Aqualung, Sierra Designs, the North Face, etc. Um, eventually, though, they started growing their own momentum brand into the 2000s, and, uh, you know, they've really just been putting out well-specced divers and other outdoor-themed pieces at entry-level price points, uh, while still offering custom-dialed specials for military um, and law enforcement entities. So they've really kept things going a little bit more low-key than they've been in the past, but happy to see them really focus on putting out things underneath their own branding. In terms of the type of watch, I consider this a dive watch, some key characteristics, and design when you're looking for a diver, of course, you're going to want water resistance, typically some type of screw-down crown, you're going to want something that's tough, legible with a dive time bezel and a diver's extension is always nice if on bracelet but on this uh, supplied tropic strap i think you'll be absolutely fine um so uh, with all of that said let's actually get this piece in hand and take a closer look Okay guys, as you can see, this is a really outstanding case and that uh, design language is not kind of in the more overplayed and, and I'd say uh, really oversaturated big crown kind of turn of the century uh, dive watch aesthetic. The nice thing is here you're going to be getting a design language from the 70s which I think are coming really more into style. Now a little bit about the lore behind this particular model. Um, before starting Momentum, you know, as a brand, essentially their founder, Simon, and his family owned a watch company called Chronosport. And then in 1977, they launched one of the first ever analog quartz divers watches, the C Quartz 30. The brand became so popular that it was soon sold in almost every serious dive store in the US and Canada. This watch was, of course, famously worn by Tom Selleck within the first three seasons of the hit show Magnum PI, which aired in the 80s, uh, the early 80s uh, on CBS, which was of course set in Hawaii, hence I had to see, you know, had to complete the look with the signature Hawaiian shirt and baseball cap uh, in the intro here. But this particular watch for me uh, just really, really stands out for a lot of reasons. One, it has a great value. You're getting this for only $259 direct from Momentum, and then you're getting a really wearable case. 42 millimeters in diameter, 11 millimeters thick, and uh, 47 millimeters lug to lug. So all very, very manageable, especially considering the fact that um, if this was a mechanical watch, it would be a good amount thicker. Uh, so the fact that there's only 11 millimeters is really nice. And I know it probably doesn't uh, present as super thin, but a lot of that has to do with uh, the way that essentially the case shape is where it's, you know, it's almost a one-to-one, -one, the mid case, and then of course the bezel side and then a very very thin case back uh, which houses that great uh, Ronda high torque movement now getting into some more of the details here uh, the finishing is really beautiful check out the radial brush that goes over the top of the lugs and then you're getting that nice high polished chamfer there which is just a really nice touch, right? Also, if you look over at this screw down crown, look how tight the tolerances are uh, for the crown guards. It is, this is just really tucked in beautifully. And then even though, you know, this isn't some super high end polish, guys, the luster on the polish is very, very nice. Of course, here, in a review, uh, there's just gonna be a bunch of fingerprints and stuff on it um, from me you know, moving the watch around in my hands, but in reality, this is gonna be strapped to your wrist, so there'll, there'll probably be a lot less 
points and fingers touching there. Um, then getting into, of course, the uh, case back, you guys saw very nice high polish. It has, of course, some etching there that's done. Getting into the dial, matte black, printed everything. Um, but then you can see visually there, uh, it is kind of a smaller uh, dial. And then also the Rehot itself has a bit of an angle. So all of these things kind of work together to help shrink the watch visually. So this watch is going to appear a little bit smaller than you would think for a 42, which I think a lot of you will be pleasantly surprised with, especially if you're into more vintage style watches. Um, and then we get into, of course, the integration of the day-date complication, which looks great on those match discs. So it's it just flows really great with the rest of the dial, black background, white text, white font. So really beautifully done. You get a painted handset, which is just screams and shouts uh, legibility. And that's one of the reasons why this watch was so popular. It's just so utilitarian, so just gets to the point. Of course, with the 12, six and nine numerals there, you're gonna have instant uh, you know, orientation as well, uh, even if the watch isn't on your wrist. Also, you're getting an improvement of C3 Super Luminova, uh, of course, uh, because the original Lum would probably have been tritium, so that's fantastic. Um, and then uh, you're getting 300 meters of water resistance from a modern watch, right? So that's gonna be really, really fantastic. And uh, versus if you were to go find maybe new old stock or, or a vintage model here, uh, that's something you would definitely have to worry about. Not the case here, you can really treat this the way that it was meant to be treated and, and use it in every use case for action and fun and water sports. Uh, and then of course you do get 20 millimeter lugs, which means this is gonna be a real strap monster. And you can choose to have this either on this black supplied uh, rubber tropic strap, as you can see, or um, an orange one, which Momentum was nice enough to send over so I could share with you guys. And another nice feature, of course, is that you do have quick release spring bars, which means even while I'm on camera filming this, I can have the confidence to whip these out out, of course and even though I'm reaching around uh, a uh, tripod and probably gonna fumble a lot more uh, worse than you would if you guys had these in hand um, I already know that I can get this going and I can show you how this looks with the orange uh, strap on there which just ties in to that beautiful orange seconds hand accent uh, which looks absolutely amazing give it a quick little wipe here and uh, you can see very nice and then you guys know I'm a big fan of tropic rubber straps uh, these are uh, from momentum and I gotta say they're they're pretty darn nice um, you know doesn't feel super high-end luxurious or anything like that but it feels like a solid tropic strap it has a nice bit of flex to it uh, while still having nice uh, also structure to the upper portions here so it can help keep this centered on your wrist really nicely and you can see that is just gonna look fantastic. Uh, but with all that said, let's actually get it back on the black strap uh, and sh show how it wears on the wrist. Okay guys, as you can see on my seven and a half inch wrist, this wears really, really well. Of course, if I was to get it too close to the camera there, you'd get a lot of lens distortion. It's gonna appear a little bit bigger. So what I'll do is I'll actually keep my hand a little further away and then just tighten up the shot so you guys can get an idea of, you know, the, the real uh, aspect ratio of how this might render on your own wrist. You can see it is a really handsome piece. Uh, and if I didn't already, let's get some bezel action going, 120 clicks. Of course, uh, you know, I'm doing this navigating it uh, wrapped around and uh, <laughs> a, uh, a tripod, but a lot of fun nonetheless. And I will say, uh, while not the easiest grasp, the nice thing is uh, once it gets going, it's it's going. So that is really great so that if you are using this for any type of timing that's important, you don't have to worry about just knocking the bezel or wiping the bezel off and then all of a sudden uh, your timing is gonna be off. So it does take a nice amount of actual, um, you know, deliberate force to do it. Um, and it's not to the point to where it's, it's just, you know, uh, super stiff or anything like that. I think it's it's suitable and it feels like again a functional piece and that's pretty much the way that it should be so with all that said let's actually get it off the wrist do some loom shots the light transition and closing thoughts okay let's go ahead and hit the lights here 
As you can see, this thing is glowing like a dive watch should. Uh, of course, there's gonna be a somewhat of a limiting factor because you are uh, looming underneath of a uh, sapphire insert. So there's only so much surface area you can put on there. So typically, sapphire inserts are gonna be slightly dimmer than the dial, especially when they're applied so thick. And then especially when you're thinking about applied very thick for a printed dial. So that's a really nice feature. But you can see this thing definitely does the job. Uh, but one thing I always like to work in is uh, some low light transition because you're not always going to be out in the field enjoying direct sunlight. A lot of times you can find yourself coming in and out of buildings, walking underneath overhangs, or just hanging out underneath the shade of a tree. So, uh, or maybe even just spending time in your favorite automobile. So it's nice to see what these colors textures and finishes render like in less than optimal lighting and you can see here that the one thing that really stands out here is legibility my goodness even though those uh, the full graduation of the uh, 60 minute markings on the bezel insert aren't loomed you can see that in most situations they are still quite legible which is a very nice little touch and it again it just ties into probably why this watch was chosen for uh, Tom Selleck in the first place is that this is again a very function forward piece all about capabilities right um, uh, capabilities and and function over form um, and I think that's what makes the form factor so fun is the fact that it is just so unapologetically uh, you know functional from that perspective so guys uh, closing thoughts on the wrist a very faithful recreation um, you know and the only things that they changed uh, for the C courts and this reissue of course is the brand name and uh, also uh, upgrading the original loom to C3 as well as replacing the original mineral crystals uh, with sapphire ones so that's fantastic and then of course you do get those smaller dial proportions paired with the curvy case which I think really help it appear visually smaller and wear smaller than you might expect in terms of model variations uh, this is the only variations you can get right now it's either this of, of course or the orange strap uh, but uh, who knows what they'll do in the future so uh, I think it'd be fun hey uh, momentum you guys are watching a blue dial would be killer just let's let's just go there let's just do it and like a bright azure blue would just be cool um so i think that would be fun um let me know what you think in the comments below uh but for now definitely expect to see something like this um and then in terms of comparables you know honestly this model was so popular that you can actually find several iterations under different branding uh even with just like a similar case or bezel insert or bezel style just because it's just during that time when so many brands were uh, just kind of sharing cases and sharing a lot of uh, common threads in terms of their aesthetics. But for me, you know, this one's tie into Magnum PI um, and it, and also the original brand ownership. It just makes this watch stand out for me. It's just fun. It, it's, it ties into the whole, you know, beyond a timepiece, the conversational piece, uh, which we always enjoy, especially as watch collectors um, that, yeah, if we were to run into somebody, there's a fun story that goes with this watch. Um, so for me, guys, bottom line, while I'm typically not much of a quartz guy, the C Quartz 30 is really something special here. It, it's it's captured my eye and uh, I definitely more collectors that are out there. Everybody needs a solid quartz watch, you know, um, so you can set your other mechanicals off of it if you need to. Um, but yeah, this one's very, very cool. Again, you're getting the high torque Ronda R507. You're getting uh, C3. You're getting, uh, you know, iconic looks designed tied to something within Hollywood, which always does make things a little bit more fun and collectible. And then, of course, Tom Selleck. I mean, come on. Let's, I mean, that guy wore short shorts and made it look cool, all right? That's that's not easy. That is not easy. So with all that said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like the video, please give it a like. And if you have any, please subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.